Hello, my name's Karina Thompson and welcome to another episode in the series on configure within my Sonet embroidery software. In this video, I'm going to be introducing you to the thread cache module that is located within configure and showing you why you might find this such a useful module to use. If you're a subscriber, or own a copy of my Sonet, why not subscribe to our YouTube channel? And that way you won't miss out on any of our future videos. I'm on a PC with the platinum level of software installed, but everything I show you today, you'll be able to do on a Mac. The principles are exactly the same. Uh, the thread cache feature is available in all levels of the software, including the free basic version of the software. So I've got configure already open here. And here's the thread cache button. So I'm going to click on that to open up the thread cache module. Thread cache is a database of threads. And there are two other films in this series where I'm going to be talking very specifically about how you can build up your database and also how you can record the stock of your thread within this module. Where thread cache is useful is, for instance, it might be that you have an embroidery design. Let's just go back to our snowman. If I go over and look at the design panel and look at these color um, uh, selections, this is a design that the color information is for Robson Anton threads. And it might be that I don't use Robson Anton threads, or it might be I don't know if I have those right colors. How Thread Cache is useful is it enables you to have a working database that you can actually then, like I'm about to show you, go to your design. I'm going to go up to here, and if I go to Color Tone, now what I do need to say is although Thread Cache is in uh, the basic free level of software, the color tone option is not in the basic free version of the software, um, but it is available in silver, gold and platinum. So I'm going to click on the color tone. And that opens up this dialog box. So what's going on here is I have the original version of the embroidery design and over here we've got a preview. And you can see down here it says thread range and it says original threads. So that's the original threads that the um, embroidery design came with that was specified. But if I click on this pull down arrow, you can see that we've got basically all the threads of uh, the main thread manufacturers. But also up the top here, we've also got a category that says my threads. I'm going to check that. What's actually happened if you look at the preview? What the software has done is it's looked at my database and it's it's almost as if the software has gone into my workroom and it's looked at all the threads that I have and said, mm, this is what this design will look like if you stitch it out using your threads. And how useful is that? How many times have you gone to do a project where you might need a specific color and you go, oops, I haven't got the right purple or the right green, those kind of things. So this is a really useful tool, particularly if you're not very confident working with color and you'd like to be organized and know that you have all the right threads before you start your project. In this case, I'm just going to click OK down here. And now when I go to the design panel over here, can you see the dialog box has changed slightly? So, for instance, this green, it's telling me this is from my thread database. And I know from the code that M-A-R-A -A is a Madeira rayon. And I've got the shade card number on there. So I know when I'm in my workroom, I can go and find that green and I can then use it in my design. I'm just going to open up Thread Cache by going down to the icon on the bottom here and clicking that. And then let's just zoom it in again a little bit more. So let's just take a moment here. There are three tabs. So we're going to be looking at the My Thread ranges in this episode. Next episode, we'll be talking about My Thread databases. And the video after that, I'm going to talk about My Thread stock. Now, there are lots and lots of um, uh, thread manufacturers out there, but probably you only buy 
from a certain number of ranges. This tab is all about identifying which are the specific thread ranges that you probably are likely to be um, using in terms of building your thread database. You can also have multiple databases within your thread cache. So it might be that you have sets of thread where you're working on a very, very specific project. But on the whole, I would actually recommend that probably to start off with, just have a database called My Threads. So that's set up here, that's the default. And over on this side, you can see that we've got some thread ranges already in the system. There are some default um, uh, thread ranges in there and some example threads in there to kind of help you understand in the first instance. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually add another thread range to my database. So I'm going to click on the pull down arrow and I am going to add a Madeira thread here. So I'm going to click on Madeira. And straight away, we then have a list here of all the Madeira threads. And I am going to add the metallic FS40, because that's one of my favorite metallic threads ranges. So I've highlighted it. And then when I click the arrow here, it will add it to this list over here. So I'm going to click on that arrow. And there it is. And by doing that, that's going to make when I'm actually editing my database, adding threads, um, that will actually make my life a lot easier. And it might be you say, well, that's great, Karina, but didn't you say that there were some default threads in there that I know that, you know, I know that I'm not going to use. So, for example, I'm actually going to take out the Robson Anton Metallic 40. So I'm going to highlight it. And then I'm going to come down to the little trash can icon here. And if I click on that, that's actually going to uh, delete that off my list of my thread ranges. If I'm going to be super organized, I could also, for instance, I know that I like using the Madeira Rayon 40 and that um, I'm going to be using that quite a bit. If I wanted to, just for ease of use, I'm, I'm moving that up the list uh, by clicking on the little arrow down here. That's now second. So that just means that that thread range will be easier to find uh, later on when I'm on my database. If you found this a useful film, please give us a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Join me next time where I'm going to show you how you can actually add threads onto your database. Happy sewing.